What's up my dudes? It's Eden here. I'm here at the consulate of Spain in Houston about to get my visa. I'm just kind of getting myself together right now because I had all of my paperwork and everything ready to go, which is a lot, a heck of a lot of paperwork, but I forgot the exact change part. I have like 200, probably shouldn't say that very loudly. Um, and not like the exact change that it takes to get the visa and they are very specific here So I'm going running back out and going to go get exact change It has been such a shambly morning. Honestly, I almost missed my flight. I got on there with like 10 minutes to spare I realized that I like Didn't have all the paperwork that I needed printed out So I had to ask this person in the airport if they could print out some paperwork for me and like just trying not to get sucked under right now with all the stress of like getting this visa and getting everything ready to go because it is a lot and I'm really trying to keep everything in perspective and like keep my cool but it's like so freaking much so I'll definitely go through all the specific paperwork that I got to get to this point because I think for me it was a little bit confusing but yeah I'm about to go get some exact change it's been a pretty good flight other than the shambliness of my lack of preparation but honestly i've been in classes this whole week and i'm missing class to come do this i'm really glad that i left a lot of time in between my appointment and my touchdown time i literally got here at 9 a.m but it took 40 minutes to get over here by uber and now i'm having to go get the change and honestly by the time i get back i wouldn't be surprised if it would be exactly my appointment time Okay, I just got my money made into 520s, so we're Gucci now and we're gonna go back to the consulate. It's me again. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed to say that I forgot something else and I'm actually Ubering over to USPS right now to get a prepaid envelope to put my visa in. This is, you know, it's stressful. I don't know how I missed this. Um, it's fine though. We're gonna be fine. T minus 40 minutes till my appointment. Pretty cool, pretty exciting. There's this like really nice area in behind me here that's like got the whole backdrop of Houston. Okay, so I just got done at the consulate. Everything went well and my visa is in for acceptance now. It's gonna take a couple weeks to figure it out, but I had a couple forms that weren't exactly right. So I had my medical insurance wasn't exactly right, but that's not really my fault. And then my letter explaining my funds from my school wasn't exactly right. They're gonna let me send it in by mail, so thank God I don't have to come back to Houston. But I was sitting talking on the phone because I was like really stressed out after everything. And I was just sitting right by the, like right by the consulate entrance in the hallway because it's kind of like a bunch of different businesses in here. And I was sitting there talking on the phone with my mom and then security comes up and they're like, ma'am, you can't talk on the phone right here. It was like an attorney's office right next to where I was sitting. And I had been vlogging right there earlier too. So I literally just felt so freaking bad. Like this is the kind of stuff that happens to me. Not only have I had to make like three trips out of here and back, but I've been vlogging and talking right next to an attorney's office all day. I'm vlogging by the way, don't be freaked out. Okay. Okay, so I just Ubered over to Sweet Green because it's my lifeblood and I've missed it so much since DC. I got the Southern Chop Salad, super excited. A little shopping area, so hopefully I can find something to do after I finish eating because I have like three hours until my flight home. So I'm just kind of biding my time now, but luckily I get to eat some yummy sweet green. My heart is so happy. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I have missed sweet green so much since DC. I'm literally crying, it's so freaking good. They just don't make salads like this in Oklahoma. And also like literally our main source of healthy food is Panera. And you can only eat Panera so much. This has arugula and romaine with like corn, apples, um, dressing, and then I just discovered it has pimento cheese in it, and it is so freaking bomb. Okay, so I went into Suzy Cakes and I got 
three cupcakes. I was only gonna get one, but then they said if I downloaded the app, I could get two free. This is the pumpkin maple one that I'm about to eat right now. Oh, I just dug my fingers into the icing. I thought about lying and saying that I was keeping the cupcakes for like family. I'm like, oh, this is for my mom later, but I wouldn't lie to you guys like that. Seriously, has such a folly taste. So now I just have to call an Uber and go back to the Houston Hobby Airport. Okay, my Uber back to the airport took a little longer than expected, and guess what I'm doing? I'm running late again. <laughs> I'm just living my best life because my flight board's in 10 minutes and I literally barely made it through TSA in time. Why do I keep doing this to myself? My phone has 2% battery and my ticket's on my phone and my Apple wallet. So we're just kind of hoping she holds up for the remainder of this line. Okay, now I'm leaving. I'm trying to get to baggage claim so that I can meet back up with my mom. Got this visa business done finally, other than the documents I still have to mail in, which is a statement of financial responsibility and my insurance. But the insurance is on my provider's end and the statement of financial responsibility is basically a letter I'm gonna have to get from my school stating that I have a scholarship and basically like that I have the money to do this study abroad. And I'm really freaking glad to have this out of my life forever. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye.